All right, let's dive into another resume, shall we? This time, we're taking a look at Etienne Newman. And right off the bat, that title, Senior Software Engineer, that's got my attention. Oh, absolutely. You don't get that senior lightly, especially in tech, right? It means something. It does. It tells you experiences there. And we're all about figuring out the how and the why of these career paths. So what did Etienne do to get to this point? Yeah, let's unpack it. Well, one thing that stands out, he's been with the same company, TC Energy, this whole time. Started as a DevOps engineer consultant, worked his way up to senior DevOps and data engineer, and now tech lead. That's a heck of a climb within one company, mm. and not that common in tech, is it? You almost never see that, right? Tech, you think hopping around, new gigs, but this this says something. Either TC Energy's got some amazing internal programs, or Etienne's made himself invaluable. Right, or both. So then we look at his skills, and this is where it gets interesting. DevOps expertise, fine, that's expected, but he's also got mobile app deployment in there. That's a combo you don't see every day, and honestly, it's gold. It means he can not only build the infrastructure, but he understands how to get those apps OUT there on different platforms, the whole life cycle. Mobile app maestro over here. And get this, he's fluent in both, like mm -hmm. AWS, Azure, the cloud stuff, but then also SQL Server, the more what, traditional databases. Bilingual in the tech world, that's what we call it. So many companies, they're modernizing, going to the cloud, but they've got these older systems too. Etienne can speak both languages. So valuable. Okay, so we've got this amazing foundation, but leadership, how do you make that leap? Well, his current role, technical lead, he's got end-to-end -end data science projects and digital service innovations. Like, what does that even mean in plain English? All right, so end-to-end. -end. He's in on every step, right from the data coming in to what the analysis shows. Big picture guy and digital service innovations, especially in energy. Think AI making those pipelines run better, predicting maintenance, maybe even customer-facing apps. So not just managing a team, but actually building the future of the company, kinda. 100%. And this is where that earlier senior DevOps and data engineer role comes in. He led their cloud migration, all the DevOps tools, and on top of that, he was optimizing their infrastructure costs. Okay, so moving to the cloud's one thing, but doing it so it actually saves money, that's next level shows he gets it right. Not just tech for tech's sake, but the business side, the bottom line, that's leadership. Exactly, and speaking of which, he was also building Python scripts to automate tasks, specifically for something called SOTI Mobi Control. Okay, now that's getting specific. What is that, some kind of management software? Exactly, it's for managing all those devices, phones, tablets, you name it, especially in a place like TC Energy, security is paramount. And automating that, especially in energy where data is everything, that's huge. Shows he's not just doing the job, he's thinking ahead. Always a step ahead, this guy. And you know what? This is just the tip of the iceberg, because then we get to his activities outside of work. So we've got this picture of a guy who's not just clocking in, right? Always going above and beyond. Makes you wonder, what does he do with his free time? Right. Well, hold on to your hats, because his extracurricular activity section, it's almost as stacked as the rest of his resume. First of all, tech blog. And Newman.com shares his knowledge, his insights, and that, to me, that says a lot. Oh, for sure. Tech changes so fast. Having a blog, it's like a commitment, right, to always be learning, sharing. That's huge. He's like plugged into the matrix, absorbing all the new stuff, then turning around, teaching others. Who wouldn't want that on their team? Exactly. And it's not just what he knows. It's how he explains it, you know? That communication, being able to break down complex stuff, super key, especially as you move into leadership. Speaking of which... He also hosts a podcast, AI Unraveled. Mm. Given his data background, his current role, it's perfect, isn't it? Meant to be. This is where you see the passion come through, digging deep into a topic he loves. Plus the initiative, the creativity that all comes across in a podcast. Not to mention the technical side, right? Yeah. Editing, recording. Yeah. It's a whole other skill set on top of everything else. Totally. Always learning, trying new things. Got to respect that. And wait for it, he also volunteers. Oh, yeah. And this is where it gets really interesting. He coaches youth soccer. Now, you might be thinking, okay, what does that have to do with tech? But think about it. The leadership skills, the communication, the mentorship, that translates. 100%. Coaching, especially kids, that takes patience, strategy, knowing how to motivate people. Invaluable, honestly, especially in a tech company. Those soft skills they talk about, but they're not really soft, are they? They're essential. And if that wasn't enough, he also develops educational mobile apps, gives them away free on the app stores. No kidding. Applying his skills, making something with real value, 
But also, he's got to understand all those different ecosystems, Apple, Google, to get those apps out there. This extracurricular section, it's basically a masterclass in character. You know, he's not just building a career, he's making a difference. And that, my friend, that's what employers are looking for now. It's not just, can you code? It's, who are you? What do you care about? That drive. Being well-rounded, bringing something extra to the table, it matters. So we've got this senior software engineer, incredible career path, the skills, the passion, the commitment to giving back. The whole package. What's the takeaway? How do we connect the dots? That's what we'll get into in our final act. So we've been on this journey, right? Mapping out the career of Etienne Newman. And it's impressive stuff. The technical skills, the business smarts, leadership, even using tech for good. It's like he's written the book on how to succeed in tech. A blueprint, right, like a plan. And that's what gets me. It's not luck, it's deliberate. He chose this, built himself up, always pushing to do more. And that answers our big question from the start, doesn't it? What choices got him here? It's that connection he makes, the tech expertise, but then how it applies in the real world. He's not just coding in a basement. He gets the business side, the user, the whole picture. 100%. That's where he stands out, you know. Lots of folks can code, but to really kill it in tech, you got to solve problems, communicate, think strategically. Etienne's resume, it's proof that those things together, that's the magic formula. He's fluent in tech, A-N-D, fluent in business. That's powerful. He can bridge that gap, explain the complicated stuff, make sure solutions make sense on both sides. Nailed it. And don't forget, always learning. Tech changes every five minutes, but he's not intimidated. He thrives on it. The blog, the podcast, even volunteering, it all points to that growth mindset, you know? Always got to be one step ahead. So crucial, especially in this field. Can't just sit back and say, I know enough. It's constantly changing new tech. Got to keep learning. And what I love is he's not just learning to learn, he's using it. At work, personal projects, even giving back. That's inspiring, right? This amazing loop, he learns something, puts it into practice, shares it with others, and that just propels him forward even more. Exactly. And that that's a lesson for everyone, no matter what you do. Being good at your job, that's step one. But being adaptable, never stopping learning, and wanting to make a difference, that's how you really make your mark. I got to say, I'm walking away from this not just impressed, but kind of fired up, you know. The potential in this tech world, it's huge. Me too. It reminds you, a resume, it's not just some boring document. It's a story, your choices, what you value, and how you can shape things. Beautifully put. So as we wrap up this deep dive, here's something to think on. What's one thing you can do right now to take a page out of Etienne's book? No matter where you are in your career, how can you create your own blueprint for success? Until next time, keep learning, folks.